and they say, if you want to join the Fairy Queen family, you can contact us at this number and we will we'll assist you the same way that we assist any of our franchise, franchise owners in setting up a cart. We, uh, with the loss of our child's cart here, we might need to set up a new operation here. So having emotionally bared my soul and gotten like a business opportunity in response, <laughs> um, the facade starts to crack and my um, it, I start to have an emotional meltdown and uh, like I'm crying <laughs> and you know not I, I just say, oh thank you kind folks because that's you know that's the that's the image I want to project for them but I project my voice to the dummy which is currently like sitting wherever Gandalf has it. And I say, Oh, wow, what a stick a bunch of clowns. Can't even, can't even care taking a soul to love. Who wants them so badly? Wow, I'd be embarrassed if these were my parents. Oh, Lord. Um, but like, uh, yeah, my lips aren't moving the whole time that happens. So. All right. So the, uh, the gentleman, Mr. Delph, takes a look at this uh, dummy is like, if you have something to say, say it to us directly. And he strives over to the cart. And as he's heading towards there, what's Gon going to do? Um, so I'm going to continue to try and hide. I'm going to like maybe like pull like more of a blanket over myself, but like keep the ventriloquist dummy. And I think I'm going to try and deflect and I'm going to say, you know, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm just projecting my own feelings on this whole situation, and maybe I just don't know enough about the complex emotions of the people involved, and <clears throat> I'm sure that just losing your only child must be a real hard situation for y'all, and I, uh, I just, uh, I really feel for this young woman, and I would, I would totally, I totally feel like if you wanted to accept them as your child, that would be great, but also, like, it's totally understandable if you might be a little upset from losing someone that seems to be very cherished to you. Um, please, sir, uh, give me no mind. And then immediately after that, the dummy says, ah, I'm just kidding, you bunch of fools. Come at me. Come find me. <laughs> well, I'm having right. you and your faces. Let's go. You and me, let's rumble. All right. So I'm going to have you guys roll opposing psych rolls here. To see who's the better ventriloquist here. Oh, buddy, you're gonna you're gonna get lit up. I'm a plus two Crap. psyche. Oh boy. Uh, which which gives me a seven. Or sorry, an eight. An eight. An eight. Okay. I got a two. Oh. <laughs> so, without even stopping for a second, Mr. Delph grabs the ventriloquist, and you're not quite able to move your arm in time. And you're pulled up, and you're facing your father, right? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my worst dream. Oh, my worst nightmares are coming true. Um, <laughs> yeah, what up, old man? Is that all you got? That's what the ventral like with dummy says. <laughs> and, but then Angina says, oh, Lord, everybody stop fun. I hate the fun. And then the endo says, oh, come on, don't listen to her. She don't know nothing. She ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Find me, old man. <laughs> Um, and I go, what, is John, what is Genevieve Gazelle doing all this? That's what I want. Yeah, to that's what I'm actually wondering as well. Is this chaos is happening? Yeah, well, I'm just uh, well, and the the, uh, the the little goblins that are also mm -hmm. pulling the cart. We're just, <laughs> um, we're, you know, I'm not sure if popcorn exists in this world, but we are essentially <laughs> just <laughs> you know, right. darkly. Well, it's probably a wise popcorn. decision. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, at the same time, like, you know, catching glances at them to make sure that, you know, that they are uh, not, uh, you know, not adding fuel to the fire, as they say, in the uh, heated <laughs> conversations. That's I don't fair. think anyone who's been involved with Zen Adventures so far at any point has had a good experience. So it's probably <laughs> for the best. You're probably the smartest person we've encountered. <laughs> 